Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Street Darker Leather Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. Oh, Street Darker, how I love thee. Chuck plus Dionese, you get an A for this one. I've been screaming at you for years and I'm glad you finally came back to top dead center. New released at the end of 16, we probably will see it early 17. This is the Street Darker, part of the Dark Rider collection from Dionese. Now I've seen Alpine Stars do Black Shadow. I've seen other manufacturers like Icon and Revit do Murdered Out Jackets. This is classic Italian done in black. This is a classic leather motorcycle jacket with Dionese features and style that makes sure it's undoubtedly Dionese without getting in the way of itself and it's not gonna break the bank at around the $600 mark. All hail whoever designed this product because you can tell I love it because this to me would be the product I bring into my collection to replace my 2010 new sand, which I still love and I still wear. There's a long lineage of Dionysi fashion inspired jackets like the Greyhound, the Water Art, the new sand that just had this classic appeal. I'm ranting about it because I think that's what's been missing for a little bit and the street darker really carries it there. Now again, you could step forward and look at the fighter if you want to go full on race style. It's kind of really more aggressive with similar lines, but the street darker is going to be Bruce Mann to the fighter's Batman, which is it's aggressive enough. You know not to screw with it. You know where it came from. But again, it gets the job done. Now the thing that really sets it off compared to so many of the other things and before I get to the sizing is the 1.0 mil grade tri soft vat dyed and oiled leather. Now it's 1.0 mil grade. It's a little bit lighter weight than your race grade cowhide. But again, it's oiled. It has a beautiful hand to it. It's soft. It has that fashion side, which I feel like has been missing from some of the Dionese lines. Now, ultimately with Dionese, I love their D-skin leather, but that's meant for the track. It's meant to be really, really utilitarian while still being great looking. This really says it needs to be abrasion resistant, but it just has to carry that style through. Even like the Dionese logoing of the embossed demon on the front, it just flat out works. And that's my favorite thing, tying in with the shoulders. It just works. Now, quick note on sizing here with the street darker to my left. Brian's six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. It's a sport fit, it's casual, it's waist length. No surprises there. They're using their new school style of S1 stretch fabric on the inside of the arms. It very much will fit and form to you that way. It gives you some room to move. You'd have a little bit of adjustability in the arms, in the, the cuff, as well as down along the waist. But again, no surprises there. We'll ship for free over 30 damn bucks. Use the size chart. Again, this fits him spot on. And it's gonna be that classic on the bike, off the bike sports style from Dionese. I'd also love it if you click our logo, subscribe to RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. Let me know if you like it as much as I do because you can tell I'm ranting and raving. Good on you, Dionese. You got me all excited today. Now, if we dive back into some of the nuance of this jacket, remember CE rated armor, shoulder, elbow, and forearm. It's going to go all the way down to composite style. At the shoulder, they've given you an aluminum embossed Dionese satin finished shoulder slider that sits on top of the jacket. It's not co-injected. It sits on top. Dionese, you fix this. I've seen you do this style of protection on other jackets where you don't have the co-injection. It just sits on the leather. By creating the seam, by framing this out this way, by not putting the seam through it, you really framed it nicely and it really works. Works. To me, this is the way this needs to be executed and it doesn't detract from the armor. It keeps a nice clean line across the shoulder. It just works. And again, I've already talked to you about the fact that the leather has a great smell, great hand to it. Basic snap up of the cop. You have two position. You can see the inside of that collar is going to be wicking. It's going to be soft. The only real gripe I have with this is just basic mesh on the inside. I mean, I might as well get into what my issue with is. They have two issues. One, there's no jeans loop. You need to be able to attach it to your jean because most of the times you're going to be riding this or a lot of times in jeans. The other one is a thermal liner, even lightweight, even it was just a vest allows you to beef up the seasonality. And you have to remember too, this comes in a perf and non-perf version. We actually think the non-perf version looks great. We wanted to show that today. A lot of times we'll just home in on the perf. Hand warmer pockets. You do have zips down here. They might be able to streamline this cuff at the bottom and add an auto locking zipper over time. That would have made it feel a little classic. I understand why they went to this snap with the tab. Again, that's just the basics here. And I'll turn face that way for me, Briz. If Hive is Brian turns away from me, you're gonna see this is actually like a hard panel. This is a very, very, very dense foam in there. And then if heat and around it. So adding a little bit of style, again, some upper arm humerus protection there. Moving down, there's my composite armor. It works its way down. Clean lines down through the vat. vat. There's, no, there's no stretch panel. There's also no microflexion baked in because that would feel more sporty. This is meant to be more classic. And if you go down to his waist, you're going to see waist adjuster to snap. You have a drop seat meant to keep it clean. Now turn backwards for me, Brizzle. Bam! If we look at the back, the embossed demon, dually stitched. 
Done, that's it. I don't need more logos, I just need that. That's all, Dainese, good job. And we look at the top here, a little bit of gray or anthracite reflective, not getting in the way, nice roll at the top of the collar. You have just dual stitching across the top just to add a little bit of style. And there's no back protector here. This will take a Pro Armor back insert G2. That's what goes here for 80 bucks, your CE level two in the back, that's up to you. Again, that's gonna be that mixture of style and protection, however you wanna play it. Come back around to the front for me there, Briz, let's open this guy up. If we open it up, you're gonna see basic mesh on the inside. They went no frills here. Again, in my opinion, that's how they got it around the $600 mark, and they said, you know, if you really want a thermal liner, go get a mid-layer, and you can add it yourself. I don't mind that they did that. My gripe was it didn't come with a vest thermal that you could just drop in. But again, 360 degree zip, you have a nice, comfortable area around the collar. It's gonna be wicking. Open that side for me there, Briz. If we look at it on that side, you do have a basic pocket for your cell phone that's gonna work there as well, or whatever you wanna put in there. If you live in Colorado, that's a different story. Zip that bad boy up. So, all in, you can tell I like it. I'm not gonna rant anymore. If you like the style of it, but we want more technicality, check out the fighter. That's gonna be the big brother here where Batman evolves. Whereas this guy, remember, was the Bruce Wayne. The next step in your journey, though, click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 30 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion and shots of Hivis Brian's beard and hair all year long as they change at Revzilla. You can subscribe to us. We cover everything motorcycle. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.